Welcome parents. We're gonna get started in just a moment. And students. Buenas tardes a todos. Gracias por estar con nosotros. Este, vamos a empezar un par de minutos. Queremos asegurar que tenemos a propio tiempo para a, a tener más estudiantes y familias en nuestras presentaciones hoy. Gracias. Hello, eighth grade families. Welcome. I'm Miss Ray, your school counselor as always, and I'm so pleased that you're all here to join us for our second virtual high school fair night. Mr. Cristalis, our Dean of Student Culture is also here tonight as co-host. I want to remind all students to please make sure you fill out the attendance form this evening and list only the schools that you are present for. The form will be shared after the first high school presentation. So if you decide to stay for the ones after, please make sure you list those schools as well. And I really hope and welcome you to join all presentations. I also want to remind families to please save all questions to the end of each presentation. We will have time for a Q&A after each school presents. You can either use the chat box to ask questions or use the raise your hand function on Zoom to ask a question out loud. Bienvenidos, buenas tardes a todos, alumnos y a uh, familias. Gracias por estar aquí con nosotros. Soy el señor Cristales, su decano de Cultura Estudiantil, con nuestra consejera Miss Ray. Uh, estamos emocionados para estar uh, aquí con ustedes, con esta segunda noche de presentaciones de la secundaria. Este, queremos asegurar, uh, primeramente, uh, que todos los alumnos que están presentes, que se queden para todas las presentaciones, la forma de asistencia la vamos a pasar sobre chat, Uh, después de la primera presentación, así pueden tomar asistencia asegurándonos que estaban aquí en esta presentación. Igual las escuelas que participaron en esas presentaciones y las escucharon. Um, familias, por favor pedimos que esperen a tener cualquier pregunta hasta que terminen la presentación cada escuela. Pueden usar el chat para darnos su pregunta o si gustan pueden levantar sus manos virtualmente sobre este Zoom y le podemos a, a responder con sus preguntas y esperemos que uh, tengamos una buena noche hoy. Gracias. Uh, Miss Ray, back to you. Without further ado, I'd like to welcome Animo Inglewood. Hi, students. Hi, families. Hi, future ninth graders. Uh, my name is Megan McKellar. I'm one of the assistant principals at Animo Inglewood, um, and I'm joined today uh, uh, with our by our parent coordinator, Miss Holloway, as well as our uh, school Operations Manager, Ms. Brizuela. Bienvenidos a todos. Uh, les estamos dando la bienvenida a nuestros futuros estudiantes, esperemos. Ella es la señora McKellar, es la, la asistente a la principal. Uh, Ms. Holloway, la coordinadora de padres. Y yo, la señorita Brizuela, encargada de la oficina. Bienvenidos oh. a todos. Yes, we're here today to hopefully give you a little bit more about our story, who we are as a school, as a school family, as well as leave some time at the end to be able to answer any questions you may have. Deseamos compartir un poco de nuestra historia, de nuestra escuela, y al final vamos a repasar preguntas que puedan tener. We'll go ahead and start with a short video. Empezaremos con un corto video. Welcome to Animo Inglewood Charter High School. Where my voice is always heard. Where everyone knows my name. Where someone always has my back. Where I feel safe. Where I can explore my passion. Where everyone is included. Animo Inglewood Charter High School. Where the staff and principal always make time for me where I'm excited for my students' future. Where I am preparing for college, leadership, and life. 
My name is Sujin Hong, principal of Animo Inglewood Charter High School. Our school is open to all and free. Please give us a call to schedule a visit. We'd love to show you around. Animo! Say, say what? Eagle! You should know! Um, so in that video, you saw pictured our principal, Dr. Hong. I've already introduced myself as one of the assistant principals. Um, our other assistant principal is Dr. LaShawn Allen. Como vio en el video, nuestra directora es la señora Hong, la señorita McKellar, ya se presentó, y la doctora Allen, que es nuestra asistente principal también. We'd also like to introduce to you um, some of our other office staff that's not on this call. So you, you've already been introduced to Ms. B and Ms. Holloway. We also have Ms. Cortez in the office and Mr. Jones, our camp, campus resource officer. También queríamos presentarles a nuestro equipo de la oficina, la señora Brizuela, soy yo, Ms. Holloway, la coordinadora de padres, la señorita Cortez, asistente en la oficina, y el señor Jones, que es nuestro seguridad. So any, if you have any questions about recruitment about applying to our school that we don't answer today or you think of after this presentation, feel free to call on any one of these people on this slide. I'll be happy to answer your questions. Si tiene alguna pregunta, puede llamar a cualquier persona en el equipo, a la oficina, y nosotros estamos ahí para responder sus preguntas. Um, so a little bit about what we're going to be talking about today. So um, we'll just give you a little bit of background about who we are. I'm sure a lot of you have distance learning on your mind, given our current context. We'll give you a little bit of information about how we're approaching distance learning, and then we'll jump into the application process. La agenda hoy día es, uh, vamos a hablar de quiénes somos. Uh, yo sabemos que también todos tienen la pregunta, la educación a la distancia. Vamos a hablar un poco de eso. Y luego el proceso para aplicar. So our mission is um, to prepare ethnically and economically diverse students for college leadership in life through innovative instruction, a rigorous curriculum, and the use of technology. Norma, you're muted. Sorry. <laughs> la misión de la Escuela Secundaria Autónoma Animo en Google es preparar a estudiantes étnica y económicamente diversos para la universidad, el liderazgo, y la vida a través de una instrucción innovadora, un plan de estudio riguroso y el uso de tecnología. Um, a lot of you already know this, but for those of you that don't, we are located at 3425 West Manchester. So we're the, uh, the closest landmark is the Forum um, and the Cemetery. We're walking distance to both. Nuestra ubicación es 3425 West Manchester Boulevard. Estamos cerca del cementerio y cerca del forum, como ven en el mapa. Uh, estamos por la misma, por la calle Manchester. Um, what makes our school special? So there's a lot of things and it's really hard to, you know, distill that all into one slide. But some of the things that we are proud of is our one to one technology. We have a laptop or a Chromebook for every single student to have access to. Um, our positive school culture, we have high sm small class sizes with high expectations, and we um, love the involvement of our parents as well. Hay muchas cosas que nos hacen especiales, pero una de nuestras cosas es que tenemos una computadora por cada estudiante. La cultura positiva, el tamaño de clases son chicas con um, expectativas altas. Y el involucramiento de los padres, que son solo unas cuantas. Tenemos muchas, pero solo podemos poner un tanto. Yeah. Um, for the students on the call who are interested in, you know, besides class, what else, what other things um, are there available for me to get involved in? We have tons of clubs. We just had a really successful club rush virtually as well. On this slide is just some pictures and some examples of clubs. However, if there's something that you're interested in, all you need is a sponsor and a group of friends, um, a, a staff sponsor and a group of friends, and you have a club. So anything, um, kind of any endless possibilities when it comes to options for clubs on campus. Para actividades extracurriculares, sabemos que quieren saber qué más tiene uh, para ofrecer nuestra escuela. Tenemos varios clubs. Algunos de estas fotos son de algunos de nuestros clubs y están nombrados acá. Uh, también por un decir, si no tenemos ese club, usted puede, su estudiante puede hacer un club teniendo un uh, alguien del personal uh, supervisando 
y un grupo de amigos si se puede empezar el club. Este año tuvimos uh, el, el, la uh, recaudación para los clubs virtualmente, fue un éxito. Uh, esperemos continuar y esperemos que sean vivo la siguiente vez y hacen diferentes actividades y se reúnen durante el año escolar. Um, we also have in a, in a non-virtual world and when there is no coronavirus or COVID-19, we do have sports as well. So basketball, soccer, baseball, softball, volleyball are all sports that we offer. También otras actividades extracurriculares son los deportes. Tenemos básquetbol para mujeres y hombres, soccer, mujeres y hombres, baseball y softball y voleibol para mujeres y hombres. Son diferentes equipos que tenemos ahorita, por lo que está sucediendo, no está sucediendo en todos estos, no van a suceder todos estos deportes, pero esperemos que pronto, pero son algunos de los deportes que tenemos. Other extracurriculars, we have a yearbook, Bane, Poetry Slam. Um, our student council loves to plan dances. We have homecoming dances and spring dances. Um, and end of the year dances in addition to prom as well. Algunas otras actividades que tenemos uh, uh, son la, el libro del año, la competición de Bain, de, de poemas, bailes, y el concilio estudiantil hace diferentes actividades durante todo el año escolar, incluso bailes uh, y diferentes actividades para los estudiantes. Uh, parte de eso también es el baile de la graduación y, y algunos otros bailes durante el año. This, uh, this picture in the bottom right hand corner is um, our big in and out fundraiser for student council. It's a um, most well attended event of the year. We get our in, the in and out truck and instead of serving our regular school lunch, everybody, uh, we sell in and out hamburgers and, um, and sodas and fries. <laughs> Si ve a la mano derecha uh, en la foto, este fue una recaudación de fondos que hizo la escuela uh, para el baile de, de los graduantes. Se estaba recaudando fondos para eso y vino la troca de Enenar y proveó comida para los estudiantes. Y como ve aquí también el personal, ahí está un maestro de química. Um, and for parents on the call, um, we recognize that parents are a really important part of our school's success and a really important partner. So we have lots of opportunities to be able to engage with you and hear from you as well. So here on the slide, you can go ahead and um, read it on your own, but we have tons of different opportunities to be able to talk to you um, as well. Como ve aquí, uh, los partes hacen gran parte de, de nuestra escuela. Hay muchas... Uh, Posibilidades para involucramiento. No vamos a repasar todas, pero si puede ver a la mano derecha, uh, derecha está en español las diferentes juntas que tenemos para involucrar a los padres. Uh, um, sometimes students like to ask what our expectations are, especially when it comes to uniform. So you see two of our lovely students at the bottom of our screen um, displaying our uniform form black collared shirt and khaki pants um, and really our expectations of our students is to work really really hard to be able to complete a through g curriculum a through g is what allows you to graduate ready for college ready to apply to those uc schools and cal state schools las expectativas como los estudiantes piden a saber esto las expectativas son el uniforme el uniforme es camisa de cuello negro y pantalones o falda color khaki uh, lo otro que se pide es que trabajen duro para completar un plan de estudio riguroso de A a G con mucho apoyo. Here's an example of one of a, a ninth graders student schedule. So if you um, uh, join our family at Animo Inglewood, this is what your schedule might look like. Um, periods one, currently periods one through nine. So you'll notice that there are two different English courses, composition and English, and also two different math courses, algebra and geometry. That does um, change depending on student needs. So um, this student has composition, you may have literacy enrichment. This, uh, this student has geometry, you might have math support. It just kind of depends on what your needs are. Este es un ejemplo de los cursos que tomaría un estudiante de noveno grado después del puente de verano. 
Como ven, en este tienen la, la clase de composición e inglés. Tienen dos bloques de curso de inglés y dos de, de matemáticas. Como este estudiante tiene álgebra 1 y geometría, es según la necesidad del estudiante que se, uh, se, se les dan los cursos. We also have a summer bridge program for every incoming ninth grader. It happens um, for a week or two over the summer, and that is where they get their schedules um, or they take their uh, exams to determine their schedules and learn a little bit more about what it means to be an um, Animal Inglewood Eagle. También tenemos el puente de verano uh, que les deja saber de cómo funciona la escuela y qué es lo que es ser una un águila de ánimo. I think we need to skip ahead, Ms. McKellar, because we're yep, yep, yep. short on time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we also have AP courses um, and electives that your, your student can take. También tenemos clases selectivas a nivel colegial. Estas en los diferentes clases y los diferentes grados en que se ofrecen. Um, tons of other support. So this slide has a lot of words on it, but really the point of it is, is whatever your child needs, there is someone there to help them through it. Esto también habla de más apoyo. Tenemos numerables uh, modos de ayudarlos. Estos son al, solo algunos. Uh, lo pueden leer después. Estamos un poco corto en tiempo. I'm going to go ahead and jump to our enrollment process and our application process. Vamos a repasar cómo inscribirse. Sorry, let me just touch on distance learning really quick. So um, we are following the recommendations of the governor. We're currently um, in the uh, purple county at risk, which means, as you know, that all schools in LA County are re to remain in distance learning. And we are um, following that col color coded tier system while still making sure that we're preparing our school site for when the governor does open. So uh, hand sanitizers, um, uh, social distancing stickers, every uh, custodial, arranging custodial support to make sure that school is ready if and when the governor um, deems it safe to do open. Nomás quería tocar un poco de la reapertura de California. Estamos siguiendo lo que diga el gobernador, el nuevo uh, marco de apertura de, por color. Estamos repasando, estamos uh, guiados por eso. Uh, también tenemos uh, uso de, de, sanit de uh, limpieza de nuestro equipo. Uh, tenemos para distanciar los, uh, las calcomunías para distanciar y, y um, para cuando volvamos a, a reabrir. But in the meantime, we're making sure that our students have access to the tech they need to successfully and effectively engage in distance learning. So if your child needs a Chromebook to be able to do that, we have that for them. If they need a hotspot to be able to access the internet, we have that for them. We have hot meals that are being served weekly as well. Dice, uno de los apoyos que tenemos ahorita, tenemos una computadora por cada estudiante, tenemos internet para los estudiantes que necesiten, estamos uh, ofreciendo alimentos para los estudiantes que se sirven también. All right, let's get to the application process, probably the thing that you have the most questions about. Um, so here's how our application works. So you'll submit an application, everything is online this year. After the deadline of applications, we will have a lottery system. And basically that lottery is we pick names randomly um, all the way up until we have a fully enrolled ninth grade class. Once we have those names, we start um, the enrollment process where you're filling out that paperwork, uh, giving all the information to the office staff so that your child can become an enrolled ninth grade student. Nuestro proceso para aplicar es presentar la solicitud. Ahorita las solicitudes, uh, los, las solicitudes son um, por internet, todas las solicitudes. La lotería se va a hacer en diciembre uh, y simplemente uh, se escoge uh, nombre por nombre hasta que llenemos la clase según los estudiantes que vayamos a aceptar. Y luego es la inscripción que también todo va a ser por internet. Um, we do have some um, lottery preferences. So if you're an Inglewood resident, you do get preference um, in our lottery. También tenemos preferencias. Si son residentes de Inglewood, se les da preferencia a los residentes de Inglewood a la de las otras ciudades alrededor. 
Um, and it's really important to note that we accept every single student. There is no academic requirement to enroll. También es importante dejarles saber que aceptamos a todos los estudiantes. No hay requisito para inscribirse. Um, let me go ahead and go to this slide. So he, this slide has all of the really important dates. So our application is now live. At the end of this, I'll pop a link into the chat. There will also be um, a tiny URL for those of us that are joining on YouTube to be able to go to the website straight to our application. Um, the application season is open from October 12th through December 4th. December 4th, applications are must be submitted by 4 p.m. to be able to be eligible for the lottery. Les dejaba saber la, los importantes fechas para aplicar. Uh, ayer fue el primer día de aplicación de la abertura de, de aplicaciones. Va a ser de octubre 12 a diciembre 4, a más tardar 4 de la tarde. And then on December 15th is when we're going to be hosting our public lottery. So that is, you are all invited. Anyone who applies is invited to join us for the public lottery where we literally pick names out um, and, uh, and read those names out loud until we have our list. You do not have to be at that lottery to be eligible to, um, to enroll though. El 15 de diciembre a las 4 de la tarde vamos a hacer la lotería, va a ser virtualmente. Se va a escoger nombre por nombre hasta que se escojan uh, el cupo y seguir para la lista de espera. All right. Um, the last slide here is our application. So after this slide, I will take any questions. Um, but the application is available. Um, I'm not sure, Miss Ray, if you saw my, my chat, but if you can, perfect. So I think Miss Ray has already popped the application link in the chat. For those of you that are joining on YouTube, it's tinyurl.com backslash ing apply. Um, if you are English speaking, you can go ahead and fill out the application right there. If you're Spanish speaking, there is a, um, a link at the top of the page that you just have to click for the, click for the Spanish version of the application. Aquí es cómo aplicar. Este es el sitio por internet. Puede ir a este sitio al https tinyurl.com ing a aplicar. Cuando entra ahí puede aplicar en, en español o en inglés. Como ve la flecha puede oprimir ahí y lo recibe la aplicación en español. También se ha puesto en el chat para que usted pueda aplicar. All right, other than that, um, I skipped a bunch of slides about a bunch of things that we would love to share with you and brag about how much we love Animo Inglewood, um, but they will be on your Google Classroom, I believe, for you to peruse when you get a chance. Otherwise, we're here to answer any questions you might have. Uh, tuvimos que pasar varias um, de nuestra información, pero usted tiene acceso en el Google Classroom después para repasarlas. Estamos aquí para tomar preguntas y responder a sus preguntas. Um, there was a question asking if um, you know what the teacher to student ratio is. Yeah, so it's um, for our uh, uh, content or core classes. It's a class no more of 33. Um, and then for intervention classes in English and math, it's uh, no more than 28 students per class. Preguntaba el número de estudiantes por clase. El clase regular es 33. Clase um, de intervención es de 28. Samantha, were you uh, asking about the application? Uh, for the school, because if it's application for the school, you should try and use your, um, I believe your parents email because your student email will eventually be disabled in my, is that correct? Yes, that would be wonderful. Are there any other questions? Also, if anyone would like to, um, Anthony uh, Miranda has a question. He's raising his hand. Um, I will go ahead and unmute. Anthony, would you like to ask your question? Anthony? 
Anthony Miranda, are you there? You can also type it in the chat. There was a parent that asked, how many students do you have per class? Well, I think that was just covered. Yes, but it may be the, if the question was about like how many students in the ninth grade class total, mm -hmm. um, it's about 160, Norma, is that right? 167 total. 167 freshmen we have. But Para it, no it, per grade level. 67 estudiantes en total. It ranges from about 150 to about 165, 67. Es entre 150, 175. There was another question asking, is there a guaranteed entry to Animo for those who already have siblings currently and previously enrolled? Um, not previously enrolled, but if you're, you have a sibling currently enrolled, that is one of our lottery preferences. So um, it's Inglewood residents, it's, um, and it's uh, um, siblings of current students. Preguntaban que si había preferencia para estudiantes que te han tenido hermanos allí. Hay preferencia para estudiantes que tienen hermanos que ahora asisten ánimo en Google, pero si han asistido anteriormente, no hay preferencia. Was that Anthony's question? No, I think it was a different parent. Um, there's another question asking, does your campus offer cheerleading or dance? And also we football, maybe you can include that, that's there as well. Yeah, so we don't currently have a football team. It is definitely one that students are interested in. We, um, we often partner with leadership because our schools are so small, making sure that we can get a complete team sometimes is difficult. So uh, football is definitely on our radar, radar as a sport to start, although we don't have it now. Yes, we do have cheerleading. Uh, preguntaban que si había porristas, el grupo de baile y fútbol. Fútbol hemos tenido anteriormente, como somos una escuela chica, combinamos con la escuela Animo Leadership para hacer nuestros equipos. El fútbol ahorita no lo tenemos, uh, no había suficiente interés. Uh, porristas todavía tenemos y grupo de baile, según el interés del, del estu de los estudiantes, se puede hacer grupo de baile. Y si ha habido anteriormente de diferente baile. There has been dance classes, uh, but it's mm -hmm. more of a club and they have different, like the K-pop club. Okay. Thanks, Norma. There, um, is a, there is one question in Spanish asking if uh, the applications for the school are only allowed via internet or if there's another method to uh, submit an application. We do have paper copies, but we prefer internet because we can't be in our offices at all the time, all the time, and we want to make sure that everyone has equal opportunity. So we do prefer that they are online. Um, and if they have any troubles, we'll walk them through it, or they can call us and we'll go ahead and fill it out for them um, over the phone. Uh, preguntaba si tenemos las aplicaciones solamente por internet. Ahora sí, por el COVID, tenemos las uh, aplicaciones simplemente por internet. Tenemos en papel. Pero ahorita, como la oficina no puede estar siempre abierta, preferimos que uh, uh, hagan la aplicación por internet. Si necesitan ayuda, pueden llamar y nosotros podemos instruirlos o hacer la aplicación por el teléfono y llenarla por ustedes. Uh, there were a few clarifying questions just asking uh, if parents and or students have to create an account when applying um, on the link that was provided. They do have to provide an email or a phone number. Uh, that's so we can get in contact with you and they can uh, actually log on and check the status as it moves, as it progresses. If they're on the wait list, if they've been accepted, they'll go ahead and get a message either to their email or to their um, telephone number, they'll get a text message. So that's why they're asking, they ask for that so that we can communicate with them directly. 
um, as a, it progresses. Preguntaba que si tenían que hacer un, uh, una contraseña y para inscribirse, si la tienen que hacer. Se puede utilizar el correo electrónico o el celular, el número de celular. Uh, y una contraseña que es única para ustedes. Nosotros no la podemos ver. Uh, tienen que hacer esto para aplicar. La razón por eso es que nos, nosotros nos comunicamos directamente con ustedes por lo que nos proveen. Si nos proveen el número de teléfono, se le va a mandar un texto. Fue aceptada, no fue aceptada, está en lista de espera o cómo va progresando en la lista. Igual un correo electrónico. Entonces lo que ustedes nos proveen es cómo nos vamos a comunicar. Y hay que uh, verificar que va a estar activo y actualizado para que nosotros nos podamos comunicar con ustedes. While we wait for any other questions, um, I haven't spoken to this slide, but if you would like to connect with us and learn more about who we are on a daily basis, we are on Instagram at animo underscore Inglewood. We're on Facebook at Ike's Eagles. And then our school website is also listed at the bottom. Um, on that school website is also a link to the, the um, application. Um, para no hablamos sobre esto, pero queremos permanecer conectados con ustedes. Puede ver lo que está sucediendo por Instagram, por Facebook o por Internet. Puede estar conectados y también está el enlace para aplicar. Someone asked about after school programs. Yeah, so after school is when a lot of our clubs um, meet. We have, um, we also have a program called JK Living, which is an outside organization, an outside club. It's not a, it's not a daily after school activity. I believe they're twice a week. Um, Miss Miss Holloway or Miss B, feel free to speak to the after school. So the after school, we have the JK living, we have the different clubs, and that's when teachers have office hours too. Mm. So there's a lot, there's always something going on after school where the student can engage. Um, preguntaba que, que actividades tenemos después de escuela. Tenemos el programa de JK living, es un programa de, de salud, de como uh, hacen ejercicio, hacen paseos, les instruyen cómo comer bien. Um, tenemos diferentes clubs que se reúnen después de escuela. De ahí tenemos uh, las horas de oficina de maestros después de escuela. Entonces siempre hay algo en que se puede involucrar su estudiante de lunes a viernes después de escuela en terrenos escolares. I think they're asking uh, when applying. You can apply to multiple animal schools. So our school is the one at 3425 Manchester, West Manchester Boulevard. Uh, preguntaban que uh, para la aplicación, ¿qué es nuestra dirección? Uh, cuando ustedes están aplicando, pueden aplicar a todas nuestras escuelas ánimos. Usted puede escoger aplicar a las 18 escuelas que tenemos o puede escoger las que están cercanas. Eh, eh, ya que hace la aplicación, usted puede escoger. Ánimo Inglewood está en el 3425 West Manchester Boulevard en in Inglewood. And it's not, eh, el código postal es 90305. When, when you're feeling... Thank you, Norma. When you're filling out your application, make sure that you're selecting next school year. So it'll automatically populate in school in the application for this school year. It'll say 2020, 2021. So make sure that um, before you hit submit that you're applying for the correct school year. Uh, también estaba recordándole la señora McKellar. Asegúrese que esté aplicando para el año escolar, que es el 2021, 2022. Ahorita está la aplicación de 2020-2021. Entonces, asegúrese que esté aplicando al año correcto. I see there's a question in the chat about school hours. So, school hours um, are from 8 to 3.30. Um, in distance learning, though, our, our schedule goes from you're in class from 8 to about 12 or 12.30. And then we have some... Um, what we call academic prep, which is when you would be doing some your homework or your asynchronous time up until about um, three. And then we have teacher office hours. In real, in brick and mortar, when we're in the building, you're in class from eight to 3.30 with uh, breaks and lunch. Um, school open hours, Norma, I'll let you speak to that one. Um, preguntaban los, el horario de la escuela. Nuestra escuela está abierta, eh, eh, hay instrucción de 8 a 3.30. 
normalmente cuando estamos en terrenos escolares. Ahorita que es virtual, están en la escuela de 8 a 12 o 12 y media según el día. Y luego después de ese horario con, con su lonche y sus recreos, uh, toman su lonche y luego pueden, uh, tienen uh, preparación académica y pueden hacer trabajos y horas de oficina con los maestros también. We have a few more minutes for questions. If anyone else has questions, go ahead and put them in the chat or you can hit the raise your hand function to ask your question out loud. Todavía tenemos par de minutos para uh, tener preguntas y respuestas. Si gustan, puede poner sus preguntas via chat o si gustan, levantar su manto virtualmente para uh, decir sus preguntas. There was a parent that asked about school hours. Oh, we just answered that. Oh, I need to pay better attention. I'm sorry. I'm doing <laughs> multiple things at once. <laughs> a lot going on in the chat. <laughs> awesome. If you have questions, you can always log on to our tiny URL and all the information is on there. The distance learning schedule and uh, everything's on there. So if you click on our website, you'll see all that information. Uh, preguntaban uh, de diferentes cosas. Cuando va a nuestro sitio, usted puede ver, puede ver nuestro horario, lo que está sucediendo a cualquier momento. Uh, si tiene alguna pregunta, estamos disponibles. And um, students, if you have any questions regarding your actual portfolio requirements, please send me a separate email. Um, this platform right now is only for questions for Animo Inglewood, their application process, or any questions you have about their school. When you submit an application, you can go back in there at any time and check the application process for the different schools, and you always have access to that. So if you need proof of the different schools that you've uh, applied to, you can always go back in there with your login, either your cell phone or your email and your password. If you forget your password, we are available to reset it. We can reset it to whatever you want, and then you can change it. Uh, cuando está haciendo su aplicación, si necesita comprobante, usted puede volver a entrar al sitio donde entró con um, su tele, número de teléfono, correo electrónico y su contraseña y puede uh, verificar las escuelas a que aplicó y cómo va el procedimiento en cada escuela. También si se les olvida su contraseña, puede llamarnos y nosotros podemos uh, uh, hacer un, uh, ponerle un, una contraseña nueva para mantenerse conectado. O si cambia su número de teléfono, correo electrónico, asegúrese actualizarlo para que podamos comunicarnos con usted. La aplicación sí es para todas las ánimo. Cuando usted aplica a nuestra escuela, usted puede escoger aplicar a las 18 escuelas. They were asking, the application, are they for all the animals? Yes, when you apply to our school, you can apply to all the animal schools also at one time. Students, just a reminder that if you apply to all three schools, that is three of your applications. So please make sure that you have proof by screenshotting your applications and uploading that to your portfolio at the um, towards April. So keep pictures or confirmation emails to all of these applications that you submit because you will need that. Well, thank you so much, Animo Inglewood, for joining us today um, and answering questions from our families. Um, if there are no other questions, we will go ahead and share the link to the application again to student emails. So just in case you weren't able to get it down today, don't worry, I will be sending that out again tomorrow and will also be added to our eighth grade uh, Google Classroom for students to access later along with the presentation. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you so much Thank for, having for having us. You. And again, please reach out if you're having any issues with the application, need somebody to walk you through it. Miss B, Miss Holloway, Miss Cortez are here to help. So feel free to call the office um, or log on to our website for our information and emails. Gracias por su invitación. Gracias, gracias por estar aquí hoy día. Uh, recuerde si tiene alguna pregunta, puede ir a nuestro sitio de internet o puede llamarnos en cualquier momento y nosotros la asistimos con las aplicaciones. Estamos aquí para ayudarles. Gracias. 
students, um, I'm going to be sharing the um, attendance link now. But if you are planning to stay on for the other presentations, including Bright Star and Alliance, please don't submit it until the very end. Because if you submit it, you won't be able to add the other schools that you are attending. So if you're logging off right now, if you can't stay for Bright Star and um, that for the end of the night, then please fill it out now. Again, if you're staying for the full night, go ahead and fill out this attendance form at the very, very end. And I'm going to keep sharing it so you have access to it. So don't worry about it right now. So I'm going to send it in the chat. Oh, I got to send it to everyone. Familias, para que sepan, el link que acabo uh, de ver en su chat, específicamente para los estudiantes, a uh, los estudiantes le estamos pidiendo que marquen su asistencia y las presentaciones que escucharon esta noche. Si solo tienen el tiempo para tener esta primera presentación, por favor, indiquen y entreguen esa uh, forma de asistencia. Pero si se van a quedar para recibir y sugerimos que se queden para tener la información de todas las escuelas que vamos a tener esta noche, Esperen antes de entregar esa forma, así pueden indicar todas las escuelas que están presentes uh, de presentación, así podemos calificar y uh, marcar los requisitos de las presentaciones que le estamos pidiendo a sus alumnos. Ok. So our next presenter will be Bright Star. Um, we will get started in just a few minutes. Give us one moment. And I'm going to share the attendance link again in case any students need to, um, cannot stay for the next presentation. But again, please fill this out at the end if you are staying for Bright Star or the school right after. Um, while we wait, uh, Bright Star will be starting momentarily. I also wanted to just give an update to all eighth grade families that the eighth grade Google Classroom is now live. What that means is the Google Classroom is going to be holding all of your eighth grade culmination requirements, like all the important info, presentations that are have been done this year pertaining to eighth grade, like the high school fair presentations or the culmination requirement presentation. Um, so we wanna house all of that and make it easy and accessible for all students. The great thing about that too, parents, is that you will also eventually have access as well. We're hoping to give access to parents starting next week. So make sure that your student accepts the invite and joins the eighth grade um, Google Classroom so that we can invite you as well. So you can access those important documents. Additionally, I did want to add students, it is mandatory for you to enroll in the Google Classroom. Uh, that's how all your eighth grade portfolio submissions will be counted. Uh, we're going to have assignments for your community service hours, for portions of your portfolio, for application uh, evidence, all of that. So it is mandatory. Uh, we're going to be sharing that momentarily. Uh, and parents, uh, we, are, we can't send the invite to you until your student has already enrolled in the classroom. So if you haven't received it, please check with your student to make sure that they have uh, logged on and accepted the invite. Este familias, para que sepan, estamos establecidos un uh, salón de clase virtualmente vía Google Classroom para los alumnos del octavo grado. Es mandatorio que los alumnos se enristen y enlisten en ese salón. Ya muchos ya los tienen, pero por si acaso su alumno no tiene acceso, necesita entrar con los códigos que vamos a enseñar momentáneamente. Uh, y también para que sepan, después que su alumno ya está enlistido y está en el salón de clase vía Google Classroom, Le vamos a mandar esa invitación a ustedes también para que tengan acceso a todo lo que es octavo grado, presentaciones, requisitos, uh, tareas y uh, fechas que tienen que entregar ciertas porciones del, del portafolio. Vamos a tener eso disponible para ustedes después que ya su alumno ya esté uh, registrado en este salón y momentáneamente le vamos a enseñar ese salón de clase. Thank you, Ms. Ray. Um, there was a question about can students attend uh, presentations outside of ECMS? Um, as, a high, as the high school fair schedule requirement. Um, we do ask that students attend the 
the actual high school fairs that we are presenting in order to count towards your requirements. However, you are welcome to attend any info sessions for other schools for more information. It's just for the high school fair specifically, we ask that you uh, attend four schools. So if you're not able to stay on for the other ones today, uh, there are plenty of more opportunities. There are going to be at least two more present, uh, two more nights scheduled with presentations. So you have plenty of time to get uh, all four required schools down. Um, and if you have more questions about that, please feel free to send me an email and we can talk. Or if you, if you have any concerns about that, if there's any issues with that, please let me know. Send me a separate private email. Um, right now, I'll really quickly just share my screen so that families can see the, um, the culmination portfolio, like the class, what it looks like. The eighth grade class, I'm sorry. Um, can you guys see that? Can everyone see that? So just wanted to let families know what that looks like. Students, you should be very familiar by now with uh, Google Classroom. So it kind of looks similar to your other classes. But um, for parents, uh, um... oh, sorry. For this, um, this is what it will look like and more things will be added soon. It's it, Right now, all we have up is our eighth grade culmination requirements. We'll be assigned different things. You will be able to click through and see what's going to be due, like the culmination assignments, um, the reflection essay, and anything else pertaining to what they need to turn in, including the application um, for the high schools. So again, there will be a workshop in November. Uh, to, to go over how to do these things online for students who need assistance uh, with the tech stuff or just have a lot of questions. We will be scheduling something in November to assist families with uh, anything portfolio related. And again, if you have questions about that or you're having trouble, please feel free to um, message me. Um, I should also, let me share my screen again so you can all see the... Uh, the, the class code, this is the class code. So if you're having trouble finding the, the um, invite or you're not seeing it when you go to Google Classroom, this is actually the class invite that you would use to join the class. Um, Mr. Cristal, is there anything else I'm missing as far as being able to join the Google Classroom or anything else you'd like to add? I know that's it. Uh, any additional questions in terms of which schools are gonna be presenting in future uh, high school nights, we're going to have that on the Google Classroom. So go ahead and uh, enlist, uh, excuse me, enroll in the Google Classroom. We'll provide that information for you. Um, and everything you're going to need is going to be there. Uh, so in terms of uh, the requirements, when they're due, uh, when those nights are, in case you forgot something, it's going to be on there. Este familias para que sepan los alumnos ya reconocen cómo navegar el Google Classroom porque ya lo están utilizando con sus otros uh, otras clases que ya tienen. Uh, pero por favor, si tienen cualquier pregunta, sus alumnos de uh, fechas de cosas, este, eventos, las escuelas en el futuro que vamos a tener estas presentaciones, todo va a estar en este salón de Google Classroom para apoyar y que sea más fácil encontrar la información, incluyendo también vamos a tener uh, una junta y taller en noviembre uh, para familias y alumnos por si tienen preguntas en navegar Google Classroom o si tienen preguntas en general cómo encontrar sus requisitos cuando están entregando ya uh, sus servicios comunitarios, uh, todos los uh, requisitos que estamos pidiendo. And again, if any questions regarding the Google Classroom, please send me an email. Now we're going to uh, send it over to Miss Chanel for our uh, raffle for tonight. Surprise, there's a raffle for attendance. <laughs> Hello, class of 2021. I'm so happy that you're all here. Hopefully you guys will attend all of our high school fairs. Um, last week we had two high schools. This week we have three. Next week we will have four. So make sure you continue to attend. So um, behind the scenes, Mr. Matt has been adding your names to a raffle and we're gonna raffle off a couple of um, items that were donated by um, the school that just presented. So, Mr. Matt, you want to go ahead and share your screen? Hang tight. Familias, lo que estamos esperando, vamos a tener una rifa. 
ya de asistencia. Todos los nombres que han asistido, vamos a poner uh, nombres aquí para a tener una rifa. Ahorita momentáneamente estamos finalizando a uh, todos los nombres y vamos a, a enseñarle quién va a ganar esta rifa hoy en esta noche. Actually, sorry, we're not quite ready. What we'll do is um, let's take a five minute break, um, come back. <laughs> Actually, go ahead and take a, a five minute break, yeah. And then come back, we'll do the raffle and then we will um, start with Bright Star Academy. They're already here. So five minutes. So we'll, we'll come back at 4.55, 57, sorry. <laughs> vamos a tener cinco minutos de uh, reposo. Si gustan ir al baño, tomar agua, este, vamos a dar cinco minutos para uh, un receso y vamos a regresar a las 4.57 uh, para comenzar con Bright Star. Thank you. Mr. C, you want to play some music while we wait? You mind? Thanks too quiet for me. <laughs>
All right. If you're far away from your computer, come close. We're getting ready to do our raffle. Come on back. Mr. Matt, you want to go ahead and share your screen? <laughs> Mr. Matt isn't quite ready yet. <laughs> so you know what? We'll do the raffle later after the presentation. No worries. We're getting all the names into the, um, the system um, so that we can raffle off those items. Um, so I'll turn it over to Ray so she can introduce our next presenter, which is Bright Star Academy. Hello, families. Eighth grade families that are just joining us or eighth grade families that are still with us right now. We have Bright Star up next. Again, please hold all questions till the very end of the presentation. That way we can answer them all at once. And again, if you are just joining us for this presentation, um, the attendance form will also be shared at the very end. Without further ado, I'd like to welcome Bright Star uh, Academy. Thank you. Good afternoon. Welcome to our Bright Star Secondary Charter Academy information session. My name is Caroline and I am a senior at Bright Star. Hola, buenas tardes. Bienvenido a la sesión informativa de Bright Star. Mi nombre es Kenya y yo soy, estoy en el grado 12 este año. Hi, I'm Kimberly Saavedra and I'm also a senior here at Bright Star. Next slide, please. Thank you. Let's get academic comparison. Here you will see two graphs from our 2018 CAF scores taken during the student's junior year. From both graphs, you will see that Visca has a high student achievement percentage compared to other LAUSD schools and surrounding schools. Visca has a 78% in English language art standards and 24% for math standards. So, en estos números, estamos comparando los promedios en el examen de CASP, que es un examen que todos de 11 grado toman. Para Bright Star, nuestro promedio en literatura y lenguaje era un 78% comparado con otras escuelas LUSD que tenían un 54%. En matemáticas, ambas escuelas LUSD y Bright Star tienen un promedio de 24%. College bound, we want to make sure that after high school, we know where to go. And for those who plan to go to college or university, According to our 2017 statistics, 83% of students that graduated from BISCA enrolled in a two-year or four-year college or university. Con destino a la universidad. De acuerdo a las estadísticas del 2017, sabemos que en BISCA hay el 83% de estudiantes que se matriculan a una universidad o un colegio de dos, a cuatro, de dos o cuatro años. Student and family support. We have a one to 139 counselor to student ratio per grade level, less than alumni counselor compared to the national and California average. We also have one inclusion specialist teacher per grade level and an English language development teacher. Algo muy importante para Bright Star es saber que todos sus estudiantes tienen el apoyo que necesitan. Esto se puede ver en el, en que hay un conector por 140 estudiantes a BISCA, mientras que en California el promedio es un conector por casi mil estudiantes. En adición de esto, 
a uh, cada nivel de high school tiene un conector, una profesora o profesor de educación especial y un profesor o profesora de desarrollo del idioma de inglés. Here's a photo of some of our staff members, including our counselors, assistants, principals, and principal, just a glimpse of who we are. Oh, uh, esta es una foto de los de nuestros personales que trabajan en la escuela. So, es una foto de los maestros, ayudantes de maestros, los conectores, solo para que los puedan conocer uh, por una foto. Academic programs, according to the U.S. News and World Report, we are top 8%, number 191 in California out of 2,605 schools, and number 1,367 in the United States out of 17,792 schools. We offer AP courses such as biology, Spanish language and literature, human geography, and U.S. history. We also offer dual enrollment with LASC with six college courses in 2020 to 2021 school year. Students are expected to graduate with AA degree and or career certificate and also are expected to graduate from high school with college junior level credits. Programas académicos, de acuerdo a US News and World Report, el 8%, somos el 8% más alto. Uh, somos el número 191 en California de 2,605 y el número 1,367 en los Estados Unidos de 17,792. Uh, ofrecemos las clases avanzadas de biología, lenguaje y literatura en español geografía humana y historia de los Estados Unidos. También ofrecemos matriculación con el Colegio Los Angeles Southwest College. Uh, tenemos seis cursos uni universitarios en otoño del 2020 al 2021. Uh, recibirse con certificado de asociado o certificado de carrera. Transferirse de la preparatoria a un colegio universi o universidad de cuatro años con estatus de un junior. Here are, here are some school expectations and values that creates a better version of our, all of our students. We have pride that stands for P, professionalism, R, respect, I, integrity, D, determination, and E for excellence. Otra característica de nuestra escuela es Pride. Estas son expectaciones que esperamos de cada estudiante en Vesca. La P es para profesionalismo, la R para respeto, la I por integridad, la D para determinación y la E por excelencia. School features focusing on extracurricular activities. Arts and humanities, we have dance, instrument, and music performance. However, some of these activities have been canceled or postponed during distance learning. Unos extracurriculares que, ofre que ofrece la escuela en nosotros son los artes y humanidades. Ofrecen baile, instrumentos y presentaciones musicales. Algunas de estas actividades han sido canceladas o pospuestas durante la escuela en línea. Other school features that focusing on sports. We have track and field, basketball, swimming, and other sports. But however, again, these activities have been canceled or postponed during distance learning. Algunos deportes que ofrece nuestra escuela es el fútbol, que es una cosa, un deporte muy grande en nuestra escuela. Um, natación, pista de campo y una variedad de más. Um, aunque de nuevo, algunas actividades han sido pospuestas o canceladas durante escuela en línea. After school, all stars clubs. These are the clubs that we're offering during distance learning. We have study lounge, homework assistance, English language learner support, 
yoga, fitness, dance, American Sign Language, Zumba. Los clubs que la escuela de nosotros ofrece son salón de estudio que esencialmente dan asistencia de tarea. Uh, también ofrecen apoyo para aprendizaje in de inglés. Ofrecen yoga, ejercicio, baile, lenguaje de señas americano y zumba. A glimpse to some of our events from the past that focus focuses in students' social lives. Estas fotos fueron tomadas de algunos eventos que hemos tenido en nuestra escuela o recaudaciones um, durante los últimos años. Uniforms, if we were on campus, we are requiring students to wear navy blue polo, khaki or black, shorts, pants, or skirts, and navy blue or black outwear that has our Bisco logo or only plain. Um, but currently, since we're just in our home, we are not requiring to wear uniforms. Durante el tiempo de escuela en línea, no estamos requiriendo, requiriendo um, uniformes escolares, aunque si estuviéramos en la escuela, usaríamos uh, camisas azules de collar con el logo de Bright Star um, o simple uh, y pantalones, faldas o shorts, negros o cafés. Here are some of the school facilities that we have access to in campus, the gym gymnasium. Uh, esas son unas de las cosas que tenemos acceso uh, de usar en la escuela, por ejemplo, el gimnasio. Athletic fields. Uh, los campos atléticos. Theater, my favorite. El teatro, que es el favorito de Carleen. And Olympic size swimming pool. Y una piscina olímpica. What's next? Fill out an application in person or online in www.fivestarschools.org. And for more information, talk to a BISCA team member. Si les gustó el recorrido virtual de nuestra escuela BISCA, uh, los próximos pasos serían uh, llenar una solicitud en persona o a través del internet usando el enlace um, o hablar con un personal de BISCA para obtener más información. We now welcome families, students to ask questions in the chat box, or you can raise your hand to ask questions out loud. First, can I say that was really awesome. I am so proud of you young ladies. You did an amazing, amazing job. I really, really love to hear from the students and I'm sure that our parents and our students wanna hear from you as well. So thank you so much, wonderful job. Sorry, I just had to say that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, agreed. Este familia, si tienen preguntas, pueden poner en el chat o si gustan, uh, levanten las manos virtualmente para preguntar sus preguntas. Uh, the first one the, uh, in English and Spanish is where is the school located was uh, the first two questions. So the school is located in Los Angeles in the community college in which we share campus with. Um, I don't know if any of you guys want to elaborate more on it, Caroline or Kimberly. Southwest Community College. We are your neighbors just down the street uh, in the corner of Imperial and Western. La escuela está ubicada en la esquina de Imperial y Western a unos minutos de la escuela donde están ahorita mismo. 
I have dropped the um, the website into the chat so you can visit their website using um, that www.brightstarschools.org link. Familias, para que sepan, tienen el sitio web para la escuela directamente para que sepan la información y la dirección de la escuela. A parent wanted to recognize the wonderful presentation you all did. Um, it says, do high school students interact with the college students? Unfortunately, we're not allowed to because most of the college students are older than us and it separates us from being a high school and a college student just to acknowledge that both parties are different and to ensure safety for all students. So, aunque compartimos el mismo campo escolar, um, si estamos separados estudiantes del colegio, con los, los estudiantes de nuestra escuela, um, so no hay ninguna, so hay una división y no nos mezclamos en ella. And just to clarify the classes, uh, college courses that our students do take, the professors come into our campus so that they are separated. Cuando toman los cursos académicos de la, une, del colegio, los estudiantes, los maestros entran a nuestra escuela para que los estudiantes no tengan que ir a las clases con otros estudiantes del colegio. Another question was about if athletic facilities and gymnasiums are shared. For the facilities and gymnasiums, the college gives us schedule when we're allowed to access it or if they're going to use it for that day. And that's how we're going to adjust as the shared campus. And that's just how it is. So, algunas facilidades como el campo de basketball o la piscina de natación. Sí es compartida, pero es en diferentes tiempos. So, um, nuestra escuela coincide con el colegio para asegurar que si nosotros vamos a ocupar una facilidad, ellos no estén ahí en el mismo tiempo y viceversa. Are there any other questions for Bright Star at this time? Feel free to put it in the chat or raise your hand to ask out loud. Si todavía tienen preguntas para nuestra escuela Bright Star, por favor, lo pueden poner en el chat o si gustan también solo levantar su mano, le podemos responder. I'm also adding the attendance form in the chat again. For those of you that were not here earlier for um, Animo Inglewood, Please do not fill out this attendance form if you are staying for the next presentation. If you are logging off after Brightstar, then go ahead and submit it right now. And I just put the form um, in the chat. Uh, there is a question in Spanish asking, uh, when is the office open uh, for any person on site in case any parents want to visit and have questions? And if you could specifically describe where the office is on the campus. Unfortunately, currently our campus is closed um, to the public and open only to uh, very limited staff for operations. Um, we can share more photos with you of the campus if you're interested. Um, and we are, as the student shared, in a separate section of campus. So our office is located within our section of the college campus. Um, if that changes, we'll be sharing um, at our information sessions more information um, and hope that we'll be back on campus safely someday soon. Esta familia es para que sepan lo que explicaron y es que desafortunadamente la escuela está cerrada completamente al público. Uh, solo está, solamente está abierta para 
a personal que está todavía haciendo cosas específicas en la escuela, pero cuando tengan más información de cuándo pueden abrir uh, con seguridad y estar saludables, le van a indicar esa información pública para que sepan vía su website, pero también in, uh, informatorios en el futuro. And just to say it out loud, there was a question, how many freshman students? And I believe the answer was 160, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Familias, había una pregunta sobre cuántos alumnos en el noveno grado están y la respuesta es 160 alumnos. And that is uh, five cohorts of 32 students. So cinco clases de 32 alumnos. Para responder a la pregunta del el sorteo, si tenemos un sorteo, si es que tenemos más aplicaciones al momento de la fecha límite para entregar los, a las aplicaciones, tendremos un sorteo. Pero si tenemos suficientes asientos disponibles cuando uh, sea tiempo del sorteo, les damos noticias para los próximos pasos de inscripción. So, la fecha límite para entregar las aplicaciones va a ser a los fines de diciembre. So yes, we do host a lottery if needed. If we have enough seats available, then we will let our parents know about the next steps for uh, enrollment. However, if we have more applications than seats available, we will host a lottery. Yes, the applications are available now. Um, you may call that phone number um, on that you guys see on the screen or you may also email us at enrollment at brightstarschools.org. Las aplicaciones ya están abiertas. Pueden llamarnos para que le podemos ayudar a llenar las aplicaciones o pueden mandarnos un correo electrónico al correo electrónico que ven en la pantalla. Sorry, was a deadline mentioned? Uh, yes, so the deadline will be towards the end of December. Carlin, do you have the specific um, date for them? All right, folks, uh, just looking it up, February 1st of 2021 is the date of our lottery. So the deadline is going to be two weeks prior to that. So uh, just make sure that you're applying uh, by mid-January and your application should be included for our lottery process. Nuestro sorteo va a ser el primero de febrero, así es que las aplicaciones van a tener que estar puestas dos semanas antes. So, asegúrense a poner las aplicaciones antes del 18 de enero para que sean parte del sorteo. You may um, email the email that is online, which is enrollment at brightstarschools.org. Pueden mandarnos un correo electrónico al email, al correo electrónico que ven en la pantalla, enrollment.brightstarschools.org. We will assist you with the applications uh, via the email. Les vamos a ayudar con las aplicaciones con el correo electrónico. Pero si gustan, pueden ir a la, um, a la página de la escuela, que es brightstarschools.org. You may also visit our website at brightstarschools.org and you will see more information on Bright Star Secondary Charter Academy. If there are no other questions at this time, we thank Brightstar for joining us today. Wonderful presentation again. Students and families, if you think of any other questions after the fact, feel free to use those contacts 
on um, that were shared earlier to reach out to Brightstar. And um, you are also welcome to reach out to me if you need any assistance. This presentation will be available to students along with the recording. So that way um, it can be viewed in our eighth grade Google Classroom. Thank you so much, Brightstar. Gracias a la Escuela Bright Star, familias, para que sepan esta presentación uh, y los contactos van a estar disponibles por correo electrónico mañana a los alumnos, incluyendo nuestro salón de Google Classroom para que tengan. Si tienen preguntas, por favor, pueden mandarnos información. Hola, esas preguntas y le podemos dar más información. Gracias a Bright Star. Thank you, Bright Star. That was fantastic. All right, families, we have one more presentation for this evening. Um, but before we move on to the next presentation, Ms. Chanel, do we know if we're going to be doing the raffle this evening before or will we be saving it for the end? We'll go ahead and save it for the end. That way we can give parents and students a little bit of a break before Alliance presents. Okay, great. So Alliance Health Service Academy will be presenting at 5.30. Uh, so that will be in about five minutes. So go ahead if you need to run to the restroom, grab some water, um, anything like that if you're planning to stay. If you are not able to stay for the next presentation, please make sure to fill out the attendance form and submit it. But we hope that all students can stay for this last presentation and for the uh, raffle at the end. Familias, gracias por estar con nosotros. Este, uh, pedimos que se queden para la, la última presentación uh, de nuestra escuela Alliance Health Service Academy. Vamos a tener un receso de aproximadamente cinco minutos solo para dar tiempo para uh, conseguir agua, algo de comer, uh, para a estar atentos a la última presentación y no se olviden que terminando esta presentación tendremos esa rifa que le prometemos incluyendo la lista de o oh, disculpe la línea de asistencia así podemos marcar los requisitos de asistir a estas presentaciones so, nos veremos en aproximadamente cinco minutos
Thank you for joining us or for those of you that have stayed on, thank you for staying. Next up, we have the Alliance Health Services Academy High School presenting. Just a reminder to please hold all questions to the very end of the presentation. You may ask questions in the chat box or you can use the raise your hand function to ask any questions out loud. Again, the attendance form will be shared at the end of the presentation. So for those of you that have been here the entire evening, that's when you will submit. For those of you that are just joining us, please fill out um, just for this school and submit the form after. Um, and if there are any questions, again, please hold that to the very end. Familias, gracias por estar aquí con nuestra uh, presentaciones de la escuela secundaria. Una vez más, la escuela Alliance Health Service Academy va a presentar Si tienen preguntas, por favor, esperen hasta a que termine la presentación. Y ya cuando terminemos las presentaciones y las preguntas, le vamos a dar la forma de asistencia, así asegurar que su alumno asistió en requisito de participar en esta presentación. Ok, without further ado, we have Alliance Health Services Academy presenting. Hi, our school's name is Alliance Pierre Barbalia Shaheen Health Services Academy High School. We call it PBS HSA for short. I'm Ms. Lopez and I will be presenting in English. Uh, Mr. Mesquita is on uh, the Zoom call as well. I'll let him present himself. Hola, buenas tardes. Uh, yo soy el señor Mesquita, el especialista de participación de padres. Muchas gracias por estar aquí con nosotros hoy. So I want to share our vision for PBS HSA and our mission. So our vision is we achieve our personal best by embodying our growth mindset and our pursuit of excellence. We develop a strong moral compass and deliberately advocate for equity and a stay supportive learning community. Our mission is we exist in our community so that students who have been historically disadvantaged or traditionally denied access to a high quality education educational experience, um, achieve academic and personal success through their exploration of the health services and health careers. Through a focus on experiential learning, community building and wellness, we bridge the systematic gaps seen in academic achievement, community, health and economic stability. We prepare uh, emotionally intelligent members of society committed to being the voice of change in college and beyond. Um, so nuestra, nuestra visión, um, nosotros queremos lograr lo mejor para nuestros, um, para nosotros y, incom y uh, perdón, incomparar uh, una mentalidad de uh, crecimiento uh, y, y uh, perdón, um, uh, también queremos un, hacer una comunidad de aprendizaje y uh, segura y solidaria para nuestros estudiantes, uh, para nuestros estudiantes. Uh, para nuestra misión, nosotros uh, existimos en nuestra comunidad um, para los estudiantes que históricamente han estado en uh, desventaja y les queremos dar una educación de alta calidad. So a little bit about us. Uh, we're a free public charter school developed and operated by Alliance College Ready Public Schools, and we are authorized by LAUSD. We opened in August of 2000. 
2009, um, and we employed the theme of healthcare for our students um, with rigorous college preparatory instruction and application-based curriculum. Um, un poco de nosotros, nosotros somos una uh, escuela pública uh, gratis para la comunidad um, actualizada por el Distrito Escolar de Los Ángeles y abrimos nuestras puertas para la comunidad en el año 2009 uh, con el tema de um, cuidar de, cuida de salud. Cuidado de salud, perdón. So we are actually located, um, our, our address is 8515 Kansas Avenue, Los Angeles, California, 90044. So our main streets uh, closest to us are Manchester and Vermont. Um, estamos localizados en el 8515 Kansas Avenida, en Los Angeles, California, nuevo 900. Uh, no, perdón, sí, 90044. Um, estamos sobre la Manchester, cerca del, de Vermont. Uh, so a little bit about our enrollment. Um, we're a high school, so we're ninth through 12th grade. We currently have 500 students at our site, um, and we serve uh, with middle schools in the South Los Angeles area. Um, so PBS HSA is a neighborhood school and is open to all students, regardless of where they uh, live or their address. So nuestra escuela es del grado 9 al 12. Um, tenemos um, casi los 500 estudiantes en la comi uh, comuni comunidad local, uh, el sur de Los Angeles. Uh, PBS HSA, um, Está abierto a cualquier estudiante, a uh, no um, donde usted viva, puede traer el estudiante con nosotros. Uh, no hay ninguna cosa que, que, um, que nos va a parar de, de aceptarnos. Si ustedes los pueden traer, nosotros los vamos a aceptar. So, a little bit about our school. Um, so we are one of the best high schools according to US News and World Report. Our gradu graduation rate is above 90%. Our college matriculation rate is above 75%. Um, the college persistence rate is currently above 80% and we are accredited by WASC for a full six years until 2026. Um, and we were awarded the silver seal. Um, let's La tasa de graduación es superior al 90%. A la tasa de matriculación universitaria es superior a los 75%. A la tasa de persistencia universitaria está actualmente por los 80%. Somos acreditados por el WASC. Y también agarramos el sello de plata del U.S. News and World Report. So we do have a school uniform. Um, each grade wears a different colored shirt. Um, so we provide every family with the first shirt for free um, just by filling out the documents that are necessary every school year. Um, so the bottoms for our school are either black or khaki, and um, they can be uh, shorts and skirts at an appropriate length and pants. Um, our ninth graders wear blue school shirts, and they have our logos. Um, our 10th grade wears light gray, 11th grade dark gray, and our 12th graders will wear white school shirts. Uh, el uniforme de los estudiantes que usan los, uh, nuestros estudiantes uh, es khaki para el pantalón o, o, um, o negro. Um, también tenemos uh, colores de camisa por grado. El noveno grado usa uh, azul, el 10 el gris claro, el 11 usa el, el uh, gris oscuro y los estudiantes en 12 usan camisetas blancas. So a program that I want to highlight from our school is um, our work-based learning program. Um, it provides students with uh, health professionals
options, career programs, which follow them through from ninth through 12th grade. Um, so currently we do have medical science for ninth and 12th grade. Uh, during the ninth and 11th grade, we have our students become CPR and HIPAA certified. Um, we also have programs um, like mock interviews where we have um, local uh, community partners come in and interview our students so they get a feeling of what it is to apply for a job and a job interview. Um, so each semester we have one field trip um, for each grade level uh, where they visit a college campus. Um, it's been a little different this year because of COVID. Um, so we've been having uh, virtual information sessions with different colleges. Um, we also do have internships in all MedSci areas. So in the 12th grade, our students um, venture out and we um, get them internships with uh, local partners. Um, and it ranges from working at, with vets to doctors, with nurses. We also have, um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it's about eight students in the 12th grade that get selected for our UCLA Doctor Shadow Program. Um, that means that they get to shadow doctors at UCLA Harbor Hospital and learn directly from them. Uh, también tenemos un programa de aprendizaje um, basado en el trabajo. Um, el programa es um, para todos los estudiantes de, de médica ciencia del grado 9 al 12. Um, también les ayudamos con los, uh, el, el certificado de CPR y HIPAA. Um, y también tenemos entrevistas um, para los estudiantes para que agarren esa práctica uh, ya cuando estén buscando trabajo. Um, les Ayudamos, tenemos um, gente de la comunidad, de las uh, uniones que tenemos con, con unos grupos que vienen y hacen las entrevistas con los estudiantes. También um, cada, cada grado uh, tiene un, una excursión a las uni universidades. Um, también tenemos un internship uh, de todas las áreas de las ciencias médicas. Um, ahorita tenemos ocho estudiantes que um, se, es como un, un programa de, de sombra con un doctor um, donde están con ellos uh, durante su visita y están aprendiendo así um, con, con los doctores. Uh, so I also wanted to share about our, our Think Together program. This is actually our after school program, um, nationally recognized school program for early learning enrichment and school improvement. Um, there are over 400 schools that participate with Think Together in California from San Diego to San Francisco, serving over 200,000 students. Um, we, it looks a little different now because of COVID, um, but usually our sports, we have soccer, basketball, baseball, cheer. Um, and they are open to starting new clubs, depending on the interests of students um, that school year. We also do offer driver's education at no cost to students, as well as uh, cooking classes. Uh, también tem tenemos nuestro programa de Think Together, um, que está en más de 400 escuelas en California, um, y ayudándole uh, más de 200 mil estudiantes. Um, nuestro programa de Think Together de después de escuela uh, tiene educación de maneje um, que no, no, no les cobra nada, ellos se los cubre. Um, también tenemos clase de cocina, tenemos deportes de, de fútbol, de basketball, uh, baseball y cheer, um, también um, cocina. Um, Estos programas son gratis para los, los uh, estudiantes que, que um, después de escuela. Uh, so if you are interested in applying at our school, there are three different ways you can do that. Um, so you can directly apply at laalliance.schoolmint.net or you can also visit our website at pbshsa.org. Um, you can also stop by our main office we do have select hours where we are open and that's only on monday tuesday thursday and friday from 12 30 to 2 30. Um, so si usted está interesado en llenar una aplicación um, con nosotros um, puede usar nuestra página de la alliance uh, arroba is that correct um or is it dot schoolment.net uh, LA Alliance.schoolman.net, yeah. 
Okay, so punto uh, schoolment uh, punto net. Uh, también puede ir a nuestra página el uh, pbshsa uh, punto org uh, o puede ir a nuestra oficina. Uh, estamos ahí lunes, martes de dos y media a dos y media o jueves, viernes de dos y media a dos y media. ¿Algunas preguntas? Once again, students and families, if you do have any questions for our presenters, uh, please place them in the chat or you may raise your hand and we may call on you to have your uh, question be shared out. Esta familia, si tienen preguntas, por favor, pongan en el chat o si gustan, pueden levantar su mano virtualmente para que le podemos este, elegir su pregunta. Uh, so I see a question. It says, how many freshmen? So we currently are expected to enroll 190 ninth grade students. So la pregunta fue cuántos estudiantes del grado 9 y estamos esperando um, de agarrar como unos 190 estudiantes. Um, I think another student asks if you, uh, your school offers football. So it's a base off the interest of students. So if the student wanted to start the football team, um, that is something we encourage. Uh, we all you need to do is have a teacher sponsor and our teachers are always very welcome to um, coaching those classes. We've had volleyball by our PE teacher. We've had cheer and track by our um, our English teachers. So it's just a matter of having the amount of students that are interested in the in starting the, the sport in order for the team to start. Um, so la pregunta fue si tenemos fútbol americano. Um, ahorita este tiempo no lo tenemos, um, pero nosotros sí tenemos otros, um, otros deportes. Um, pero si el interés está allí y si el estudiante quisiera uh, comenzar un club uh, con un uh, profesor, uh, sí se puede hacer y podemos comenzar um, un grupo de fútbol americano en la escuela. Uh, there were just questions one more time in English and Spanish just uh, around the application, uh, how to apply if it's only online or if it could also be in person, if you want to share that. Yeah, so they can definitely apply online or they can stop by the school. We um, have paper applications on, at the, our office, um, whichever they're more comfortable with, we can do both. Um, ustedes pueden um, usar nuestra página web o si gustan pueden ir a la escuela. Estamos a, allí de lunes a martes de doce y media a dos y media o jueves a viernes de doce y media a dos y media. Uh, there was a question regarding uh, the demographics of the student and teacher population. Uh, what percentage is African American teachers and students? You know, I don't have the exact um, percentage of it, um, but you can find that information on our website if you um, go to About Us. Is there a lottery process? So as of right now, um, we are are accepting applications between October 1st and November 1st. Uh, so it's depending on whether we fill those 190 spaces by November 1st. If by November 1st, we do not have 190 applications, we will not hold a lottery and it'll be first come first serve. Um, if we do reach the 190 applications or more, then we will have a lottery. Um, la pregunta fue de la lotería. Si uh, alcanzamos los 190 estudiantes, sí va a haber una lotería en noviembre primero. Um, pero si no tenemos esos estudiantes, um, we're just going to accept those children. Is that correct, Ms. Lopez? Vamos a aceptar los estudiantes que aplicaron. Uh, there was a general question, just the address of the school, if we can uh, say that and type that in. Yes, the address is 8515 
Kansas Avenue, Los Angeles, California, 90044. There are any other questions, please put them in the chat or you can raise your hand if you'd like to ask them online. We will give two more minutes for questions. Oh, do you have dances like prom? We do have prom. We also have winter formal. Um, usually they are planned out by our ASB um, student body. Um, and it's a little different now because of COVID, but yes, we usually on a regular school year, we do have um, different dances and it's not only winter formal and prom we also have I believe if I'm not mistaken we have Halloween dances and other other events but we we do like to have a lot of um, events with our ASB program. Uh, la pregunta fue si hay bailes en la escuela um, y si los tenemos, tenemos uh, los bailes al final de año, uh, pero durante el año sí um, tenemos bailes para los estudiantes, um, el director y los, uh, los otros um, profesores están allí um, asegurándose que todo está bien y, y todo seguro. Uh, también he eh, puesto mi número por si tienen alguna pregunta me pueden llamar um, o si necesitan alguna cosa eh, estamos disponible para ustedes. So I believe Mr. Mesquita also added his phone number in case you have any questions. He is our parent engagement specialist so he can help you with anything you need. Um, I do also see if someone asked if our football team is good. Um, if that's for soccer then I would say Yes, we do have um, different tournaments with um, other Alliance schools as well as neighboring high schools. And that is organized by our Think Together program after school. La pregunta fue si uh, nuestro, um, uh, nuestro grupo de fútbol es, es bueno. Y uh, sí, uh, jugamos contra otras escuelas de Alianza y también um, en la vecindad um, en el parque con, con otras escuelas charters. There was one more question just uh, to re-add the links to register. I believe probably apply and enroll into the high schools. Oops, I will send that now. I actually sent it only to you. There you go. And again, I just wanna mention that tomorrow I will send an email out to all eighth graders with every link that was provided this evening so that um, you can apply tomorrow if you'd like. So don't feel Totally pressured if you can't get the link down right now, um, that will still be provided. And it will also be eventually added uh, by next week to our uh, eighth grade Google Classroom for students to access. I do see one final question just asking, uh, what percentage of seniors graduated last year? That is a great question. Um, I don't know the percentage, but I can give you the amount. Um, we, out of our, I believe 120 students, we only had four students that did not graduate on the same date that everybody else did. Um, but what we do is we keep those seniors that did not graduate on a program in the summer to make sure that they can catch up and graduate by the time um, they would have to start college. Uh, la, pre la pregunta fue cuan, el porcentaje de estudiantes uh, del grado 12 que se graduaron. Um, no tenemos esa información ahorita, pero le podemos decir de los 110 estudiantes que, que tenemos, cuatro no se graduaron el día de la graduación, pero tenemos un programa que les asista um, 
para, para pasar sus clases, para ya cuando, para agarrar su diploma en el verano y ya poder comenzar en el colegio uh, en septiembre. Thank you for the percentage. We have one more minute for question. Last call for questions. Últimas preguntas si uh, todavía tienen. Tenemos un minuto más. Thank you so much for presenting this evening. Students, if you have any other questions that you think of after this presentation, please take down their information that was provided or you can shoot me an email and ask any questions. But again, I will be sending the link out tomorrow to all eighth graders um, for applications. And I have also added the attendance form. So please make sure you fill that out before you log on and list all the schools that you attended this evening. Thank you so much.